Hi folks, Chris here. Just a quick note at the top of this video uh, before we get into the main gameplay footage. I did mention this at the start of the last vid because this is the second instalment of a kind of little two-part series that I recorded with Andy America. That's right, not, not my usual standing Wednesday night live stream recording uh, that I do uh, on my Dice Masters mandate with Andy England, but no, I'm with uh, uh, our man Andy May, Andy America, the esteemed and uh, hugely talented Ministry of Dice's US correspondent, um, US Nationals finalist, top eight World Championship Cup. Uh, you know, he's an incredibly talented player, but you'll notice that we're playing just some nice kind of filthy casual kind of modern constructed stuff. Uh, Andy's request wanted a bit of a palate cleanser after being in kind of full on competitive mode where we're playing just some more lightweight, kind of more obscure uh, win conditions out the modern card pool and intentionally avoiding stuff that appeared in the world championship teams although emp right i got a bone to pick with you i made a whole team based around stun tokens the centerpiece of it was bloody arctic breath and then when i came to check the team list i was like oh my god there's one randomer here who's put arctic breath on his team and i had to reconfigure the whole bloody thing so it's your fault the way this game concludes just saying in just saying all right, well, enjoy the gameplay, folks. Love it. Oh, are we using yeah. the same one? We are. Yeah, we are. that looks like the only thing we're doing that's the same. Yeah, so this, this is... I've got my little trio of uh, stun mm -hmm. token folks. Yep. Um, Robin's just for the global... So basically, my thinking is that the only thing I can't stun token is sidekicks. So I'm going to steal them or ping them off. Got it. And then Wong's just there for... I don't know. I just felt like I needed a fist character on the team. It's a cool one, too. I I really like that one. So yeah. Troy is a, a master at using that one for removal, too. It seems like nothing ever rolled back when <laughs> so I'm just uh, saying up what we've got do, going on over there is that a doomsday that's a doomsday yeah which I'm not gonna buy so it's got a force attack global on it I don't <laughs> uh, <laughs> not to give you into the master plan here but so it's the rare Superman sure um, yeah, to change like something's one. attack it's the rare Hawkman that can't be blocked by character dice with a purchase cost three or less sure it thing should be three or fewer grammatically uh the rocket raccoon common that does its attack when it hits the field and uh the spider-man uncommon that keeps getting cheaper and has overcrush yeah cool uh, what's the psylocke it's the super air psylocke so it's storm wind rider but errated to not be storm wind rider oh yeah can't, <laughs> she can't she can't do sidekicks now she cannot do sidekicks but she can do if you've got multiple copies of a character she can reroll all copies of up to two characters Ugh, disgusting which is kind of fascinating yeah so if you've got three wongs and two starros in the field she could reroll all of them so. well i'm not a fan of that <laughs> well, all right let's see how that so i basically need to stun token everything got it okay <laughs> Although, to be fair, that wouldn't stop all your when fielded shenanigans, would it? Uh, no. 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 It would slow down some things, though. Sure. Well, let's see how it goes. I'm not as confident in this team oh. as I was in the first one. Uh, roll for sidekicks, my friend. Oh. Uh, yeah, I did while you were digging for dice. So I've got two sidekicks with ah. a question mark. Uh, I have one and a question mark. Your choice, sir. I think I'll go first this game then. Okie okay, doke. All right. Oop. Good luck again. And to you too. Oh, do I want to just do that? Really? <laughs> um, probably not. Let's try those two again. Well, there's no fists and no bolts. Investigation. Fair play. Best turn. Yeah. Thank you. 
Oh, and the other the other action I've got out is retribution. So it's got the uh, frontline global. Uh, yeah, and does does the two two damage to a target carriage or something really? Yep, yep. But the yep. global is target character can't block unless you pay a life. So, right. The fist global. Yeah. Since I couldn't. Uh, even... I think somebody had frontline, so I skipped that and went to retribution. Oh, did they? No, no, I checked that one. There wasn't a frontline. They did on the Friday, but not on the Saturday. Oh, okay. It was, okay. Somebody, it was, it was just Luke. locked it out then. Yeah, it was Lucan, but he went for Master Mold on the Saturday. Uh, yeah, I gotta buy a Lucan, daily planet for myself, mate. Lucan played two masterful games against Dana. Like, really close matches, really well fought matches. So. Yeah, he's he's a very good player. Let's see. Neither of us brought prep. No, Joker's yeah, over I've there. got Joker. Well then, three on a Hawkman, and one, two, prep a die. Prims seems pretty Back solid. Thank you very much. Uh, where did I put those other four sidekicks? Oh, there they are. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. So, so for the sake of distracting your plays there, we were we were in the game store a few weeks ago, and there was a Crystal Twister dice tower. No! <laughs> yep. yep, and my son was like, look at this one. This is beautiful. This is the dice tower I want. And I was like, you know what? Maybe we need to get you to listen to the Ministry of Dice. We'll see. <laughs> I made a little video. It's a it's a one minute review as well, so you can get him all clued in on okay. that in, in less than sixty seconds. Uh, I'll f feel the sidekick. Uh, I'll Joker Global once. Yeah, I mean it does. It looks amazing and it sounds incredible, but it's so shaky. Um, it's not like this thing has been going for you know years the crystal twister because of the way the shelves work i mean you've heard me mm -hmm. go on about it because of the, and the way that they're kind of bracketed in uh, one shelf will fall loose in the middle and you've got to take the whole thing apart again to fix the the <laughs> shelving problem it's just the whoever you know like sometimes you buy furniture and It'll say, right, use the Allen key to tighten this section of the leg or whatever. And you think, well, I can't. Who in their right mind thought using an Allen key to lock that? Because they've set the, the panel of the table against the leg with the Allen key in here. So you can only turn it in 180s and not 360s. Have you ever had that? Um, yeah. So you just have to keep. Yeah, it's like doing the Austin Powers in the tunnel thing. Just yeah, over exactly. and over and over again. <laughs> exactly, and I'm like, who in their right mind thought that's a good idea? And it's the same with the Crystal Twister. It, the, the concept, you know, they've gone for style over substance, basically. So, uh, I hope you went and found the, the Crystal Twister owner and just gave him a swift slap across the cheek. Yeah. No, I'm sure somebody picked it up, though. It does look really nice. So, it was right there next to the register. I'll go for a wong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. And it doesn't transport well either. I've I've actually got it in a hard case camera lens box, an old camera lens box, and even then it still falls apart. <laughs> All right. Well, that's five energy. That's five energy. So I could do that and that. I could do that. Yeah. It's starting prepping. getting cold over there now. Prepping. Not quite yet. It's down, well, it's in the 50s, which, how does that translate to Celsius? I was about to say, what does that mean it's in a... proper? 
<laughs> I had to do this for Laurier while we walked around Memphis, too. He's like, so how hot is it? It's like 95 degrees. It's like, so what is that in Celsius? Like, I don't know. You do the math. Come on, man. Um, so I think the high today was about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 28 divided by 9 is three, about 15 Celsius. Right? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, a couple of degrees warmer than what I've got going on over here, then. It was about 11, 12 Celsius. Okay. It's so. like a light jacket weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've definitely started getting the uh, getting the coats out the wardrobe, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I might want to do the Spider-Man now. Oof. Do I want to do the Spider-Man now? <laughs> I was kind of prepared for investigation to roll. So I'm disappointed. <laughs> Isn't it always yeah. the way? <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead. I'm going to grab Rocket. And I'm going to prep a die. And I will pass priority. Pass back. All right. Here go. Thank you very much. Oh. So, uh, four out the back. One mm -hmm. in prep. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Come on. Uh... I can work with that. Don't want these. Reroll these two. Ooh. I will fire off the daily planet. Yeah. One. It's nearly a bizarro. Two. Well, that's what I'm shooting for. Yep. Uh, yep. And there it is. Uh, so it's a. Bizarro and the sidekick. All right, one of your sidekicks is going to attack. Oh, cheeky! <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'll move to the attack set then. Uh, well, have you got any energy to say back for anything? Nope, that was the only oh, energy I had. Just I had that, a question yeah. mark. Okay, I'll uh, attack with one of my I'm sidekicks, gonna... I suppose. I will block it with my sidekick. Ah, oh, the old school prep. I love it. That's how we used to rap in the early days. <laughs> that was part of the reason I wanted to play this Psylocke is because my first competitive team that I took to a big tournament had that kind of stuff on it. The, um, so I had the the Storm Wind Rider on that team. It was glorious. Oh, she, yeah, she was good, Storm Wind Rider. She had everything. Removal, bit of damage. She was the Becky Lynch of her day. All right, I'm going to field Sidekick. I'm going to field Hawkman. I'm going to spend three on Spider-Man. Yeah, I can't do much about and, that Hawkman. And then... Yeah, no, he's going to go through unblocked in a second. I'm in a Villainous Pact. Or Joker, I guess it is. And, and then I will attack with the Hawk Man for just. Oh, you broke up a bit then. How much was that, mate? Just two. Just two. Yeah. I didn't put a spin up global on. I put the spin up on the other team. I should have probably thrown it on here. Uh, yeah, I can't help you either on this side. No. Still, every right. little, it all counts. It's, you know, it's kind of a, it's been, I've drafted it a couple of times, and it's, it's just handy to <laughs> be able to, like, I can run through a Hawkman before my opponent can make a big purchase, and maybe run it through a second time even, so. Yes, yeah. It's like the, uh, the common Hawk Girl in draft is surprisingly good as well, the one where you just need a couple of question marks. To field her because suddenly turn two she's in the field and your opponent may not have done anything yet yeah you were talking about uh, you mentioned her on the recording um, oh yeah and... I used her against Ian <laughs> yeah that's right yeah <laughs> yeah yeah well she if especially with a prep global 
a lot of times I can work out the bag so I can keep her in the use pile for my next turn after she runs through for damage. So then on my next turn, I'm trying to get a couple of question marks to just put her right back into the field to run her through for more damage. So it's a good yeah. way to get, you know, five, six damage right away early in the game. Oh, be one of them, are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, he says no, 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 no shame in that voice. Uh, I'm gonna nope, pay four you... for for a Harley Quinn and then a Joker Global. That's how, say that again, sorry, mate. I was just gonna say that's how every game should start. <laughs> and uh, Andy, your your um, your uh, 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 your namesake here in the United Kingdom, Andy England, he he likes a good early rush. Obsessed with pump globals. He'd have, um, what is it now? Anger issues and a kobold on every team, if he could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to field the sidekick. I'm going to field the rocket and knock out your sidekick. Oh, God, this is going to catch up with me a bit too quick here, mate. Let's see. Which order do I want to play this? I'll use investigation. That's going to reload the bag. So we're rolling a Spider Man and a sidekick. Oh, did you get it? Uh, I did, yeah. Spend one to field the Spider Man. He's on his 4 4 face. Wow. Everything else is a level one. And then I'll go ahead and prep one. And then I have two sidekicks. That seems like enough blocking for the time being. I'm going to attack with a 4 4 yeah. Spider Man and a 2 1 rocket. Right. Uh, I have no blockers. So that'll take me down to 12. Ugh. There it is. But, Bizarro. Yeah, he's coming now. He's on his way. <laughs> he's coming. I'm just going to put a there couple sun tokens out here. Yeah. And I've got a daily planet here. So I might be able to get something together. Uh. Or not. Uh, Robin Global's a mask, isn't it? Yes. We roll all that. Oh, I got the mask, There's but I didn't mask. get the daily planet. Ooh, could have done with that. That's a thinker. That's a thinker. Yeah, it's another bizarre. Another bizarre. <laughs> well, it is. Yeah, you've kept an energy back though. That makes me nervous. That makes me nervous. Hawkman's in the bag, is he? Yeah, just the Hawkman. On his own? And a Hawkman and two sidekicks. Alright. So, that could be up in my face. i got a feeling like you're going to force attack my Bizarro. Stupid force attack, man. Who came up with that force attack <laughs> idea? Honestly. Right, well, I'll pay the Robin Global I... to field my Bizarro, and I'll pop a stun token on Hawkman. I'm going to have to live hand-to-mouth on that, I think, for now. Uh... Where'd it put it? Could really do... Could have done with that Daily Planet for the bag reset. I won't lie, things are going to go a bit awry for me now. Uh, I'll pay three for a Starro. I'm going all in, mate. I'm just going all in and a Wong. Well, come wow. on. There you go. Right. Look at that. Look at that. That's what we call That's... Pr professional <laughs> bag management. That's the way. <laughs> as long as it all comes out. Uh, well, we'll see. I'm playing the odds there now. I think if I fill my bag with, with more stuff that I do want, then hopefully I'll actually get something. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're doing. I'll oh, pass priority. 
I'm not sure I want the Bizarro to attack. Yeah, he... he's 7 6 right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's harsh. Usually I like to force everything to attack. <laughs> but I suppose, I suppose it would empty your field. And I've got you on 12. And that's an ugly bag. That is yeah, a very ugly decision. I'm going to send Bizarro to the bag. Let's have him attack. Here he comes. All right, I'll take the seven. Life's a resource. All right. So I'd have to unstun the Hawkman to do any damage. Yeah. All right. It's a level oh, one you Spider Man. Spider Man as well. <laughs> well. What's the script on um, your fielding costs? Uh, I will have to pay one to field the Hawkman. So, really? You jammy get. I'm going to pay one to field the Hawkman. He's on level three. Oh, the Spider Man jammy gets free on level one. I'm going to go ahead and remove the stun token. Well, for sure, and yeah. My flashlight just went dead. Are you. Can you see everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. And then, yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't just go ahead and attack. You've got nothing in reserve, right? Nope. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and attack with these two. They're each three. All right. Oh, dear, this is looking a bit hairy. Oh, the force attack is the... Uh... Oh, it Honestly, it, it exhausts me, the force attack. I, it was my first inkling that I might actually be okay at this game when I put, <laughs> <laughs> put together one night and Troy was like, well, what, what are you going to do about Dwarf Wizard? They'll just blank this. And I was like, I'll just force the Dwarf Wizard to attack and take one oh, or maybe oh zero, oh. right? <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, I actually knew something. I stick with it. Yeah, I'm just... I'm a guy who likes to have my stuff in the field. <laughs> Let me have my stuff. <laughs> well, I made this Zorro team to put... Right I did, yeah, I did, but... Um, have you saved any... You've not saved anything about this turn, have you? I don't have um, anything, so I can't uh, I can't get rid of him. You, not you've quickly, got, anyway. Uh, and Rocket wouldn't be strong enough to kill him outright, would it? No, because he's... He's back on that 7-6, isn't he? Yeah, so it's Rocket, some sidekicks, and Investigation, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, I've got five yeah. dice in the bag, so three sidekicks. All right, let's uh, fire out the uh, Bizarro. Let's stun Hawkman again. Okay. And then I'll prep one with the Joker Global, try and fit this, <laughs> this massive sack of dice out a bit. Uh, a Wong in prep. There we go. Uh, I will pass priority. All right, pass back. And end turn. All right. No. Oh. Well, that is Rocket on the 4-2. Oh. Still not enough. Yeah, I'll try this again. All right. Ooh. I'm going to activate investigation first. So there's one in. Sure. And then I get to pull. Oh. All right. So, field the sidekick. Field the rocket. I'll deal four damage to Bizarro. Sure. And then I'll spend two on a wonk. Roger that. Let's see. Huh. Huh. If I attack, if, 
If I attack with rocket, you can block and refield Bizarro, putting another stun token out, which I don't think yeah. I want. Yeah, you do. I know you do. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass priority, and when you're done, I will also pass turn. Okie dokie. You sure you don't want to attack? I'm good for now. All right. All right. One, two, three, four. Uh, uh oh. Here's yeah, where it all goes could, sour. Could be, quite, <laughs> could be quite a good turn, this. Uh, not fielding costs, we'll take that. Keep a mask. Alright, well, he who dares, as they say. Oh! Starro would have been nice. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, I did bring the force attack for you to punch in, uh, punch something at your Harley, I suppose. Oh, yeah. That's a great point. Yeah. She has to be KO'd by combat damage, yeah? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I'll pay, uh, I'll field Wong with a mask and ask you to reroll one of those sidekicks, please. Okay. Let's just thin out this stuff. I have a mask. Uh, the force attack is a bolt, isn't it? Yep. Uh, I'll field the Harley at level one. Doesn't give me a lot to play with, though, two shields. How much is in the bag? My bag's kind of a little bit more in control now again. Yeah. I need to, I I need to maybe make sure... I stay on top of that. So if I attack you now... I could... Uh, probably end up letting Harley through. We, uh, no, sorry, block Harley with a sidekick. And we'll give me your rocket back. That's not a good idea. Uh, I'll pass priority. Pass. Back. I don't think there's anything I can do with this mask on my turn. No. Or on your turn. I don't think so there's anything back. I can do with these. I don't think I've got anything I can do with these shields either if I want to try and. I guess you could buy a retribution. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're okay. Would... I will end end turn. I think because <laughs> <laughs> isn't it isn't there like a whole thing where uh, I do you two damage and then you get to do two damage back with it? Isn't that is that is am I remembering the right one? Yep. That's... Yeah. All right. Well, that's neither character. That's both characters. Let's see. With with fielding costs, hopefully. Yep, I mean I have to spend one. So I'll spend let's see. Actually, I'm gonna spend the bolt to field Spider-Man on level two. The rocket's three, he's two. I'll spend nothing to field the Hawkman on level one, and then I will villainous pact. And then I have a two man advantage, which would assure me of two damage, which doesn't seem all that good. Oh, pass priority. The Hawk Man's stunned right now. Oh, yeah. It would guarantee me one damage. That's what it would <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I'm on six. I'm on six life though. One damage. Yeah, you know, at this point, that's twitchy bum time for me. I, uh, I do want to try and get Harley Quinn in the mix, but I'm concerned if I force something to attack, that I'll then promote you to throw something else down the field at me. Uh, okay, I'll force the Spider-Man to attack, please. Do. 
Okay. He's got overcrush. Yeah, that's fine. Gums. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna double block, I think. What's his attack? It's It's What's his attack? Oh, is it four? Four. Oh shit. Uh, oh bollocks. Okay, I thought he was on five. Hang on, let me rethink that. So I'd end up taking two. Is it worth two to put another stun token out? Yeah, okay, I'll take... I'm going to block with just the Harley. Okay. Yeah. So still the Spider-Man. Yep. So she is uh, KO'd with combat damage, and she does something. A stun token. Uh, and I'll place the stun She's token. She's the easy one. She just puts it out. Yeah. And I'll go on uh, oh. Spider-Man, please. Yep, I should actually keep him in the field. He didn't take enough damage, so... Still yeah. out there. Yeah, I did want right. to try and KO him, but then I'd, I thought he was on five. I thought you'd rolled him higher. And then because you, you, you're that janky kind of sort, Andy, I could just see you going, I'll put all three on Wong and, and just one on um, Harley Quinn, please. And I'd be like, why I had a... Yeah, so. well, I would have, even if he was on five, I would have just done all five to Wong. Harley yeah. Quinn intact. Yeah. Two, three, four. Although I do have uh, another one in the mix now. The Harley Quinn comes back. Right. Yeah, I, I think it's everything. It is. Oh, Harley Quinn didn't come out to play. But she's got masks for you. Yeah, which is going to put my Wong in play. So what have you got? Those <clears> two are out the picture. All right, so I will pay a mask to field the Wong and ask you to... Re How many dice are in your bag, actually? I should check that first. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so it's like three sidekicks and an investigation. The Wong. Yeah. Oh, the Wong, that's who I'm missing. So let's re roll Rocket Raccoon, please. He oh. comes back on level one. Well, that's marginally better. Uh, I'll field the sidekick at level one. Um, I'll use the Harley Quinn mask to uh, Joker one out, which is the Daily Planet in my bag. Um, I'll pass priority. Pass it back. And I'll end turn, I think. Okay. It's uh, it's midnight over here. I'm struggling to chess out <laughs> like how I Well, I will try to uh yeah, you could do that one, fast you? for you. Oh, you're right, no. mate. Don't worry about. It. I wasn't bringing uh -huh. it up because of that reason. Well. Yeah, you can Hmm. So investigation is in the bag. One, two, three, four. Well, I suppose. I could, uh, yeah, buy three Spider-Mans. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Villain is packed. And do I want to remove a stun token? I can remove a stun token on your turn too. So I will pass priority. Pass back. 
Mmm. I'm gonna go ahead and enter. Okay. It's a lot of Spider Mans. That is a lot of Spider Mans. I'm putting a I'm banking a lot on my Starro to try and catch you out before Spider Man comes along, but I don't I don't think I've got it really, to be fair. I think I'm just, I think I'm just uh, uh, making the win difficult for you right now. <laughs> oh, there he is, in fact. All right. Here we go. Here we go. That's not Reef. what I wanted. Not what I wanted to see. Let's give these two a reroll. Ooh. There. Is it on the seven-seven as well? I can't tell. No. No, well, I, I would have had to uh, re-roll him, wouldn't I, if he was on the 7-7? Seven, seven. He's on 2-2. He's on two, two. All right. Uh, uh, no, fire that, off. One you, that one you can keep on the 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, no, the first line says, right. if you roll Starro at level 3, oh, you re-roll Starro. Yeah, it's the uh, common. It's the, I want to steal I've your sidekicks. It was the, I've been thinking it was the uncommon. All right. Uh, I've just had a thought. Is that was that one of the ones? Is this one on one of the teams as well? Now that I think about it, have I just cheated again? Somebody used it, but I'm not sure when or on what. Yeah, I know Dana had um, the rare. I don't know that the Barry Allen team had the Starro though. The one that made top mm. eight anyway. This team. No, uh, I don't know. I've cheated probably. I've <laughs> off the yeah. I'll fire up the <laughs> Daily Planet. Let's see what I get. Oh, yeah. Harley Quinn and a sidekick. Yeah. Almost, yeah. I'm trying to beat Chris here. He's got four life left. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He's bullied me with his hawk, man. Uh, so let's feel. <laughs> let's feel the Starro at level two. Okay. What am I going to do with all this lovely energy? Um, let's do a Joker Global, get some prep. And I'm going to buy another Harley. Um, I'll pass priority. Three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven with my sidekicks. Uh, three, six, seven, seven eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven with your sidekicks. I'm gonna unstun the Spider-Man. Yeah. And open him up. And then back. Sorry. Yeah. Bloody hell. <laughs> hmm. I'll do that. The Hawkman is still stunned, so I'm just pulling yeah. into the back of the field zone. I'm just trying to... Because the likelihood is you'll... I'll end up giving you back your rocket raccoon.
Which means then you'll probably end up killing, I don't know, Staro maybe. One of my Wongs. You probably won't kill a Wong. You probably block two big ones. Which would kill your Spider Man, maybe. But I'm only on four, so you'd have to sneak a few through. Yeah. Ah, I don't know, Andy. What would you do if you were in my shoes? It's not. Uh... Right, right, right now, well... I'm, I'm, I'm taking a view of disruption that an attack would, at the very least, maybe just sort of disrupt what you got a bit. Mm. So, you'd have to, so you'd have to perhaps change your plans in the absence of anything else. I've got no tricks up my sleeve. The only thing is, though, if you take my sidekicks, they go to prep when I let them through. Or, or if I KO them. So that gives me more energy and all this is going into my bag. So I'm probably pulling two Spider-Mans. Mm -hmm. At least, you know, and if I pull like a Wong or something, all of a sudden it's going to get difficult to... Field. I suppose I do have investigation over here. Yeah, um, those cheap Spider-Mans have been a boon it's... for you because I'm not choking your energy quite as much as I would have hoped. Uh, all right, I'm gonna end turn. Let's just see what what you got. Yeah, I think I think the attack, if done, is probably just the Starro. To pull the sidekicks and reduce my blocker count. But... Yeah. Oh, let's see what happens. That's, a, that's another Spider-Man. Five. All right, there's a two-two Wong. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and get those two into the field now. So they're both on level one. It's a 2-2 two, two Wong and a 3-3 three, three Spider-Man. I'll activate the investigation to reach in and grab two more dice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> That's, uh, Is that no pump, no nothing. Yeah. So I think... What's going to happen then instead is I didn't get any bolts either. So I'll go ahead and unstun the Hawkman while I can. Mm hmm. All villainous packed, one die. And. Black. And, and, and. I think I will go ahead and. Swing with the rocket and the... You don't have any energy, do you? No, no, I don't. Okay, okay. I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing a priority pass there. I'm going to no, swing with a 2-1 two, one, two, one rocket and a 2-2 two, two Hawkman. 2-1 rocket and a 2-1 Hawkman. A uh, 2-2 two, two Hawkman. 2-2 two, two Hawkman. Ugh. Why would your rocket have to be so weeny? Uh, so let's... Uh... I mean, you don't have to block it. <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> I'll block the Hawkman with, the, with one of my Wongs. Okay. And I'll put my sidekick up against Rocket. All right. I've not, I've not got a great bag this turn, man. I've got, there's two sidekicks in here as it is. So that's a, not a big bag reset. It's good stuff, though. Um, yeah, let's see. I'm going to do one at a time dramatically. There's a Harley. <laughs> uh, and there's a Daily Planet. Okay, this could be... Oh. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> of course. Uh, I can babe. These reroll these two. Come on, guys. All right, then. Yeah. All right then. 
Uh, so I'm going to fire off the Daily Planet. One and two. Two sidekicks. Didn't get the yeah, second one. Wanna... Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a bolt. Force me to KO that Harley again next turn. I've done that, haven't I? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of a bit lost in my own team in a way. <laughs> Does that make an odd kind of sense? Like I'm a little bit upside <laughs> down and back to back to front with my own team, sort of. I think there's something there though, you know what I mean? If it was optimized, it could be a real pain in the ass. Yeah. I haven't got any stun tokens in play, which is uh, a little upsetting for me. Uh, and I can't I seem that... to get any in play right now. That Joker's outstanding, too. I had that Joker on my Nationals team and never reached for it once because Master Mold is just fast enough as it is, but yes, I really like yeah, that Joker. Yeah. yeah, it's so on point for him as well because it's just so anarchic, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just causing chaos, uh, which I definitely appreciate. Okay. was himself to maybe eliminate two other characters, so... Yeah, I love that one. So that could grab your two sidekicks, which would leave you three blockers. Uh, block them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you'd let seven through, leave me with three blockers, and they're probably in a bad shape next turn. You got those two fists for. Oh, because they were left over. I really did. <laughs> There's no. I was like, what's what's that? What's he got? What sneaky I, little cunning plan are those fists held back for? Yeah. Well, grabbing another Wong, but I really don't need to buy anything. So it was more of a, if you make me KO your Harley, I can remove a stun token immediately with them. Uh, sure. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, they're not doing me any good. Um, so let's do a um, Joker Global. Bless you. <laughs> you. You caught that. That was the way. <laughs> uh, I'll buy another Wong. I think trying to re-roll your stuff out might not be the worst plan in the world. No, I think you got me. That's it, it's all down to that roll of those three characters sat in your prep right now. Yeah, not in the bag though. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna move to the attack step. Okay. And I'm going to attack with Starro and grab your two sidekicks. Okay. Just those? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I guess I'll take four. Yeah. All right. That still leaves you with five in your field. Yeah. <laughs> this could go right down to the line. Well, it all kind of depends on what you roll rocket. Oh, yeah, there he is. What level's your rocket on? Level one, so he's only two attack. That's enough to take out one of these, Pat. Another sidekick. Right, so the Wongs are both three threes. Yeah, they're both three threes. Uh, psych, uh, Harley, psych, Harley Quinn, sorry, two two. I meant to say, not psychic. All right, so I'm gonna field the rocket to ping off Harley Quinn. Yeah, and then fielding two sidekicks for free, fielding a level one Hawkman. 
Yeah. A level one Spider Man and fielding a level two Spider Man. And you've got four blockers. I have. So we'll just assume I block your four biggest. There Those it is. Would be spider, this Spider Man's, and then the the eight would go through. Ooh. First, first I'm in a villainous pack. <laughs> <laughs> if you must. <laughs> it was. There were a couple of games in nationals because it's like, okay, I'm still, you know just making sure that I've got a handle on this team. And so I think it was my first game where it was, I rolled enough and I was like, and he's like, ah, oh, you've got enough to get it. And I was like, and, and I don't want to rub it in. I just want to play the turn. So that I, can, I want to go through the motions as though I wasn't going to win to make my decisions and just keep practicing. So I had a couple of games like that where it's like, this is enough, but I want to figure out what I would do you know, even if it weren't, and playing out that turn. Yeah, and at that level as well, right. you don't want to get one of those moments where someone goes, oh, wait, hang on, if I... And you go, no! <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the worst case, worst case scenario, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's definitely happened to me before. Um, you know, playing in stuff over here in the UK, where uh, you might have heard me mention Paul Fullwood before, a guy I've played with a lot over the years. And uh, he will he will not you know pass back until he's absolutely satisfied that he can't chess <laughs> something out. You know what I mean? And he'll he'll weighing up every global and uh, until he'll not pass back until he's absolutely certain that he can't prevent the win that's about to happen. You know. So I, I you're right, you're like right that to it. <laughs> yeah, Rob actually went through a whole turn and he was like, okay, if I do this, and he's like, I'm not mis miscounting, right? I've got it. And I was like, you've got enough, but I have the decan in my used pile. And then he was like, oh, crap, that's right. <laughs> 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 I think he had the, like, the 14 damage that he needed, but it, yeah, the, but the decan, it was just like, I will take it all and then your field will be empty. And That yeah. took people a while to get used to. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I think, folks, you get tunnel visioned sometimes as well, don't you? A little bit tunnel visioned. And uh, I've definitely been like, oh, no, wait. Oh, I, I suddenly realized at the last minute something um, into, vital to the whole what I was trying to do. But I've got so tunnel visioned. Um, I've yeah. also had it the other way around where people have said to me, Chris, look up a minute. You can win. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just the time everything. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, Russ brought that up at Gen Con too. It's like if you just attack, you can win, and, was, and you know that. But I haven't pulled my combo off. Yeah, yeah. I need to do my thing, man. I need to. I've got a thing here. I need to. I need to field one of them, and then activate this global, and then KO that, and then field one of these, and yeah. just attacking you, Philistine, yeah. you thug. I got a thing. Uh, I've worked on a oh, team here. Let me. Do it. <laughs> you, have, there's, you have one damage to get, and you've got two more characters. Go ahead and win the game. Yeah. 